Hey guys, Trent here, coming at you with another video. So we'll look at a quick little thrift haul that I picked up. It looks pretty good. But before that, let's cover the topic. Does eBay cover the loss whenever an item gets lost in shipping? So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit, and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Yeah, viewer Mark Wilson recently sent me a comment saying, basically, hey, Trent, what's your opinion on this situation? Uh, I had a you know an eBay buyer. Uh, I shipped an item out. Uh, tracking shows that it's at one USPS location. Uh, it's been there stalled for seven days and no further update on the tracking. So the buyer's getting, uh, getting uh, fed up, anxious, and they, they're saying, hey, pretty soon I'm going to have to ask for my money back, basically. And so the question is, whenever an item is lost in shipping, does eBay cover it for you? So just to be clear, the scenario we're talking about is that uh, you delivered a package to, let's say, you, let's use, use uh, for my examples, let's use USPS. Uh, I've never had, personally, uh, with FedEx, I've never had a package ever lost. Uh, the only time I've ever had a package lost uh, was with USPS. So other people may have other experiences besides that, but for my example, I'm gonna just basically talk about USPS mainly is what or we'll consider that being the example so anyways uh, the scenario is that USPS package first class priority mail whatever the case may be you successfully delivered it to the post office it got successfully scanned in uh, maybe even it showed some further tracking updates down the line but it just never made it to the final destination it was never reported to delivered by USPS so the situation is in the past Based on my experience, in the past, I would have told you uh, that as long as you did your job of scanning the item into the post office and you have, you know, the tracking history shows that you did your your part, you've taken it as far as you can go, you know, because obviously you have pretty much no control over the item once it gets delivered to the post office and you have that proof that you scan had it scanned in. Uh, I would have told you that, you know, if the buyer never receives it, let them open a case because I could have sworn that eBay used to cover losses like that whenever an item got lost in the mail. I may have been mistaken now that I'm thinking back. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because just this year, because of uh, the pandemic that happened, uh, for the first time in many years, I've had uh, multiple packages uh, never make it to their destination via USPS. I had at least two, maybe three this year because of the pandemic. My prior experience of shipping items, uh, I think maybe only one other time I've had an item never that, that got lost that never showed, that showed uh, you know some tracking but didn't for whatever reason make it to, to its destination. So, anyways, I was under the belief that okay, I did my job. eBay's going to cover me on this because we have they have what they call buyer protection, right? 100% buyer protection guarantee. So I thought that those the funds that they used to fund that. Uh, would be part of that would go to covering, you know, hel helping us sellers whenever, you know, it was clearly not our fault that a package got lost. So I figured some of those fees went to that. However, uh, this year I had two lost items where, again, the tracking does show progress. It shows that I did my part. I have those initial scans from the post office showing that I delivered the item. But, uh, uh, I, I told the buyer even, I said, hey, just go ahead and open a case with eBay, an item not received case, because I said to the buyer, eBay has money back guarantee protection for you. So go ahead and open a case. I'm thinking that eBay is going to cover me. <laughs> and so the end of the result of those was I, I didn't have any like negative things really happen to me other than the fact that I indeed did have to refund the buyer myself. Uh, eBay representatives actually contacted me because I, I, sent a like a uh uh what's the word uh an amendment or a uh oh what's the word an appeal i sent an appeal on it saying hey you guys aren't going to help me with this and they said uh bottom line they they wrote me back and said that uh you as a seller you're responsible for ensuring the item gets to your customer is what they told me so i don't know if maybe because of what's going on with the pandemic they've been giving out too many of these so they had to stop doing it uh, or maybe it was that I was mistaken and they never did that and I just was thinking of a different scenario. And let me tell you what that scenario is. Because there's one scenario that I know that eBay will step in and refund the buyer and you don't have to. That is whenever 
the buyer says an item was not dis, uh, received, so but your tracking shows that it was delivered to them. So you have a complete tracking history shows that you delivered it on time and everything to the post office, and the tracking shows that it made it all the way to the to the destination and was scanned in at you know the final scan from the postal service to the destination. If that happens, if a buyer claims, hey, whatever, my package got, you know, I never received, received it for whatever reason, I, maybe it got stolen or whatever. Uh, if you have that tracking history, eBay should cover you for that. So maybe I was thinking about that. But yeah, I had to give Mark some disappointing news because I'm, you know, I've had two firsthand experiences this year where I tried to let the buyer open a case for item not as received, item not received, and uh, eBay said uh, that I had to refund them. So there's the answer to that. Let me know down in the comments, did it used to be different? Uh, did eBay change their policy on that because of what's going on? Or did they just change their policy because they changed their policy? Or has it always been that way? And I'm mistaken and I'm thinking of the situation where the, uh, the tracking shows the complete history to d be delivered. Anyways, I'd be interested to know what you guys think about it. All right, I went to the thrift store that has the good toys, usually the good Nerf, and I got mainly Nerf. I got one non-Nerf item, let me show you that. This is the first time I've seen this item. This is uh, Disney Jack Specific, same, same kind of thing as the Moana, you know, magical fish hook. This is a Disney, uh, oh man, I forgot what, this is a Disney princess like wand scepter thing. The batteries aren't working right now, but I think this gem is supposed to light up and it's supposed to make sounds. It was $2.99. I think this is probably in a, the same price range of sale as the Moana's magical fish hook. So it's just another great item that you'll see in the bins. I haven't sold it yet, so this is just my theory. But I see comps for it, so that's what it looks like. It's made by Jack Pacific and Disney, and it has a button there. I'll have to test it out later, but uh, uh, another good one to try out. Some of you guys may know what Disney movie this is for. You can let me know in the comment section. I picked up some good little uh, single blasters to build my uh, Nerf party pack lots up again. I got one Maverick, nice condition, $1.99. And I picked up a strong arm for $1.99 as well. In case you're new to my channel, I when it, I take 10 of these together, whichever model it is, the strong arm, the Maverick, and I sell them in 10 packs with darts and call them party packs, birthday party packs, if you will. And uh, they sell pretty well that way. And then Disruptor, it was $2.99. Uh, I'm thinking about doing the same thing with the Disruptors. Uh, Maybe I'll start saving these up and seeing if I can do a party pack similar of similar fashion, maybe for more money. Because I think the Disruptor is a little bit more uh, desirable than the other two. Then I found a Mega Magnus for $2.99. Just add to those Mega Lots as they come along. And uh, another $2.99er, another Flip Fury for the Zombie Strike Lots. Not as good as $1.99. There's a couple $2.99s in there, but oh well, I'll take it. Here's one that I more realistically like to pay $2.99 for, a Surge Fire. Always happy to see these. These make good lot fodder. I found this. You found that. That's $2.99 for a female. <laughs> yeah. It's a female. Yeah, it is. Nerve for Bell. It was a $2.99er. This is a, I think it's called the double, double something or flip. I think this is called the flip shot or something like that. So it's a bow that has a, a similar feature uh, to the uh, flip fury that I just showed you. So you can flip the cylinders and uh, it indexes around every time you pull the string. Uh, Rebel can sell pretty well uh, depending on the piece because I think some of these pieces are more uncommon or maybe more exclusive than others. And the best one today, which I really enjoy paying $2.99 for, which I did, was the long strike and it even has the barrel and a magazine. So this is, I think, that's just buy. this right here it could be a, like a $50 sale so uh, really nice to see that I like it whenever they are consistent with their prices at least <laughs> so long strike not bad okay I sold these uh, Rick and Morty dolls still in their packaging got these from a yard sale from a guy who had a bunch of really cool uh, you know comic-con type stuff anyways Total price paid by the customer, $48.32. I think this box will work for them. I'm just gonna set them down in there. I think they should be fine. I don't think anything's gonna happen to these guys like that. $3.99. Uh, 
three pounder. Okay, then I sold these vintage 90s Kush rackets. Those are nice uh, pick up. Uh, paid a couple bucks for those from the thrift store. Uh, total price paid by the customer, $27.38. I think I'm gonna place them in here and just cut this box down. Two pounder, not bad. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about any interesting eBay tips, tricks, finds, or leave a comment down in the comment section to say hi. Uh, let me know your experiences with the uh, the shipping discussion. If uh, you had, have you, have you had to refund the buyer on any of those situations, or has eBay ever stepped in whenever the item didn't show completely delivered. Uh, have, has EB ever stepped in and maybe I'm just not remembering correctly. Let me know. Hope you enjoyed and have a good one.